morning we're on our way up to the unit um, a few things have changed so I hadn't been recording any videos um, while we were spraying the car and the chew we were having of spraying the car in the freezing cold unit and then we had um, well I had I trusted a Muppet have you ever had one of those people that says they can do something and they're absolutely talking out of their ass and yeah he said he was a body sprayer painter and he's full of shit <laughs> absolutely full of shit two well one one spray job later and it was like why have you got runs in the lacquer like what why is there runs all over the car like the finish looked absolutely crap and i said like, what have you done and he made up 101 excuses of why <coughs> uh it, it went wrong and uh, i'm too too nice a person sometimes so i took his bullshit as gospel and uh, bought another load of paint so like we're talking hundreds of pounds wasted here and then the second time he did it he made a complete hash of it again um, the, the finish was just absolutely shit by the time I flattened the paint went down there was hardly any paint there anyway and it, by the time it buffed up it just nah, no good at all so we went for option two um, which I was very reluctant to try um, which was blackboard paint and uh, yeah blackboard paint applied with, with a roller no less so anyway <laughs> yeah sanded it all down got it all nice and uh, nice and neat and then uh, I went for it and just sat there with a the roller and then uh, rolled it on yeah went too crazy with it got loads of runs the first coat but then sussed it out and uh, after a couple of goes yeah it's actually not bad Amazingly, it's not bad at all. So I'll show you when we get up there. Just on the way up to the unit now um, to do the brake system. The brakes, uh, I put the rear brake pipe in, I put the e-brake in. Um, when we bled it all up, it bled up absolutely fine. The uh, pedal firmed up. And then when it was off, it was just spongy pedal, very spongy feel to it. And then when we turned the engine on, it was terrible. And we had basically no brakes whatsoever. So it's looking at it's looking like a booster at first we thought yeah master cylinder so I've swapped the master cylinder the reason for that um, is because he capped the rear brakes off originally and my thinking was well if you've capped the rear brakes off but the, the reservoir fills up the, the rear part of the proportional <clears throat> and then you apply your brake pedal then what's going to happen it's going to try and force your hydraulic fluid down your rear outlet there's no way for it to go, so it's going to blow the, the seals um, and the valve. So I've, I've got a new master cylinder. We're presuming that that one's absolutely fine, and still we're, we've got nearly no brakes. So it's pointing at the booster, but the brakes worked fine before we installed the rear. So after a bit of to and and froing um, and talking to um, Ryan from Drift Defensive, shout out to him, I um, decided to split the, the brakes off again because he didn't really need the rears on anyway so um, I bought myself oh camera shake bought myself a Willwood a standalone cylinder with a reservoir at the back okay there's the Willwood um, new cylinder that's going in standalone there's my original um, master cylinder uh, the fitting there I've uh, put some weld over it and then ground it down um, so it won't pass anymore, so it's blocked off. But I think the seal in there is knackered anyway, so that's fine. It should, um, it should. If the seal's knackered, it won't exactly be putting much pressure on it anyway. But as long as it doesn't leak, that's good. Then that's going to my front brakes again. So I'll have front brakes, back brakes, in an hour, maybe. That's the plan. Okay, so uh, we've got the e-brake here, which is a very very snug fit, which is all yeah fine. And dandy, if the ear brake worked, the ear brake doesn't work. So, um, I'm going to swap the cylinder on the back of it now, but to do that and to get to the pipe work, I'm going to have to basically take the seat out. Pain in the ass, but once the Willwood one's in, hopefully that'll be the last time we'll ever need to do it. So, here we go. Okay, so the seat is out. Uh, now you can see, <coughs> I've just run the brake pipes originally on the inside because I didn't have to run it on the outside so that's obviously going back to the rear brakes two pieces off there goes to the flexes um, the original pipe 
comes in over here, which I'm going to remove in a sec, uh, and then goes up to there. So this cylinder's coming out, and new cylinders going in. Well, basically, we've just had a problem there. Um, fit the uh, the new cylinder in, absolutely hunky dory. Uh, then you need <coughs> to fit uh, the end on. Fit the end on, screw it down until you get the handbrake pointing to where you want, so you've got the adjustment there. No, the thread on here does not match the thread on the eBay special, so it wouldn't screw on. So, like, here, yeah, typical. So, what I've done, it looks like I've managed to find a fix. Pop the circ clips out, um, pop the shaft out. This is the shaft of the Willwood. Took the gator off and everything. Uh, and then did the same with the eBay one, and as it turns out, they are basically the same, just a different thread on the end. So I've popped the eBay special one in the end of there, so if anybody else does this, that's how you can do it, it will swap over. Um, and then the big gator that's on the Willwood one get, is a pain in the ass to get on because of, of the hole in the, uh, the framework. So the eBay one does pop over and does go straight on and is like a neater job. So now I'm going to pop this back in and I will now have adjustment to get this on. So here we go again. Okay, so the e-brake is in. Um, I've bled it all up. It's uh, uh, straighten that up if I gave a fuck, but I don't. So last time, when you pulled the e-brake, it came back to about here and had absolutely zero effect. With a swap of the cylinder, oh my god, it's fucking tight. It's like, yes, that is a bloody handbrake. So, hell yeah, much better. Okay, so we've done the back brakes, e brakes are nice and stiff now, front brakes, brake pad's a little spongy, but that's sort of like a BMW thing. But it does feel like um, front brakes are better. So, a lot better. In fact, they are braking. So, what I'm going to do now is a quick test to see if the front brakes are braking enough. So, let's try. Yes, I think the front brakes work now. Happy days.